Hello, my name is Thomas Marinin, and I'm going to be demoing a visualization on Lake Michigan. Uh, the purpose of this visualization here is to show the temperature and water current um, in Lake Michigan at various points in time. Um, here we can just rotate, zoom, and uh, translate the actual lake around to get a better view. Uh, the data sets that we have are the month, the day, and the hour. The month lets you view any month uh, between 2006 and 2010. Uh, the day lets you view any day from July of 2010. And the hour lets you view um, sections of three hours uh, from July 15th of 2010. So going back to the month view, we're going to take a look at July of 2006 here and just load that up. Um, and you'll notice at the bottom there is a color and transparency scale there that lets you uh, correlate it, the colors to the different temperatures. Um, here we're looking at data set 1. Now if I switch it to set 2, that is January of 2006. And delta is the difference between January and July. Um, so here, uh, white right in the middle means that there is no difference. Blue means that the second set, or January, is colder than July and red would mean that it would be warmer. So let's just take go back to July uh, just look at that one. Um, here we can overlay a map to give you some better bearings of where uh, Lake Michigan is in respect to uh, some land. Um, so there you can see Chicago, Milwaukee, and Green Bay. Uh, we're just going to turn that back off. So here we have the temperature representation uh, originally it was as the raycast volume, so we are using volume rendering here. Um, now I've switched it to textured volume, which is just a different way of representing volume. And here is a colored array. Uh, this is no longer using volume rendering. Each data point is just represented as a colored point. Uh, so just going back to the raycast volume. Um, now I'm going to switch it over to water current, and let's turn up the transparency here so we can see it a little better. Um, here we just have vector a vector field representation here and this represents the water current um, again the color now is representing the speed and the direction there you can see is the direction that the current is going and now I'm adding in three different streamlines um, for three of the major rivers that are input into the lake and you can see where the flow goes um, so now going back to temperature and let's bring the transparency back down to around 20% so we can see the whole volume a little bit better here. And I'm now going to show you uh, this transfer function, how it can be edited by the user. So here, if you just click and drag, you can move the points. Also, uh, clicking on a new spot will add a point to the transfer function, um, and you can add as many points as you want. Um, and once they've been added, clicking on any one of those um, will actually move it around here so you can adjust it after you've added it. Um, also, on the bottom there for the color, uh, you can do the same thing. So clicking and dragging will adjust the point. Um, and double clicking here will add a new point. And if you double click on an existing point, uh, you will see a color dialog box pop up and that allows you to choose a new color and once you press OK you will notice that it affects both the map at the bottom and in the volume representation in the main window. Uh, if you right click on any one of these points it will remove it um, so you can just go back to the ones that you want. And the last feature of the visualization is volume clipping, which can take place in any direction, X, Y, or Z. Uh, this just cuts off some of the volume to better help focus your attention on areas that you are interested in. And that is all. Thank you very much.